Hi, I'm going to show you today how to take dirty water like this to clean water. Hi, this is a quick tip on how to clean water. Why do you need to clean water? Well, I had the decorators in a couple of months ago and I have a lot of water in my layout. I love water. I love streams, rivers, the sea. I've got a port scene. It's all a little dusty now. And when you take a photo, you can tell that there's dust and it looks nothing like the real thing. So what I need to do is clean it up and make sure it looks like water again. So I've already done a section on my layout and I've got a strip across here where I've cleaned it. You can see there's a huge difference between the bit I've cleaned and the bit I haven't. So let's clean a bit more and see how I did it. First of all, start off with that excellent tool, the Hoover. Now I normally use my big one with a brush attachment, but it does demolish quite a bit of scenery. And this one's got a nice little nozzle that gets in. But a brush is also really important. This is a blusher brush. I guess a lot of you men won't have one. Um, most of the women have already used it for blusher. Um, I've got two or three of these and they're lovely and soft and they give a really nice brushing motion. It will get dust off without disturbing too much. So, magic tools. Now I'd already hoovered this and I hadn't got the dust off. And one reason for that is the way I've made my rivers. My rivers are all resin and I love resin. I think it gives depth, I colour it slightly. I just love the feel and texture that it gives to my layout water. However, it doesn't do waves. Well, not easily. So I've put acrylic gloss medium on top. Now that acrylic gloss medium, it gets a little tacky when it gets humid and it absorbs anything that kind of falls on it. So if the dust sits there for a while, and in this case it's been down a couple of months, it sticks and you can't get it off. So, next thing I try is uh, just a simple sponge applicator. This came with a track cleaning kit and a little bit of water. Now I just brush it on, try and get it close to the edges. This is brilliant by the way. If you have any of those um, creeping water bits where the water's sucked up the edges, the dust hides those in amazing ways. So just don't clean those bits off. That's provided, of course, you haven't seen it and covered them up properly. So I go over it with my brush and you can see my brush is getting dirty, this sponge applicator. Um, but I then like to go over it with a bit of tissue paper and this really does get the dust off. So nice sweeping motions. I always try and go in the direction of the river itself so that if I do um, create any streaks or anything they're in the direction of the water so they don't look unrealistic and you can see I'm pulling quite a lot of dirt off this river. So now that looks really good I normally give it another brush just to get rid of any um, little leaves that have fallen in, <laughs> little bits of um, static grass they get everywhere, dust the lot but it still doesn't look perfect. And one of the problems is that acrylic gloss medium, it just gets a little bit matte after a while. So for my final stage, what I do is I use some kind of acrylic gloss varnish. I've, um, I've sold into the future um, debate you see on the internet and I've got my future alike. I think this is supposed to be the same formula as future. It's Pledge, formerly known as Clear, and I got it on Amazon. <laughs> I like you get most things. So I literally go over a final coat, I use a brush, try and get one that's not going to shed hairs because they don't look very realistic. This is just, I don't even know where I got this, it's a little um, bubble brush but it's nice and smooth, doesn't really create much of a wave. And I just go on, if I get any bubbles as you can see I'm doing here, I try and leave them over a white patch so that they, um, they get integrated into the river and don't cause any problems if they don't go off before the end. And I just go right up to the edge where I want it to. And the only thing I'll say is I did have some areas that were completely um, flat. And 
those tend to disappear with this because if you put a layer of um, acrylic gloss varnish on you will end up with some streaks through it. It's a river, it's not such a problem um, and as I get down to the weir where it's more flat I will make sure that all the streaks are going in the right direction. So that's what I do to clean my water. Okay so now you can see the difference between my dusty water on the left and my cleaned water on the right. As it's set up it's created a nice clear top coat which has brought my river back to life. Really makes a huge difference and I'm not embarrassed to take photos of my layout anymore. Whilst I was on a roll I also cleaned out my port. It's made a huge difference and my sea finally looks shiny.